Hello my friends. I am walking my dog on my lunch break. I live literally five minutes from fashion show Nordstrom and I was having my inspired thought like I always do and I was thinking about an event that I came up with in my head and the name of it is Beauty in the Midst of Chaos and what that means to me is that we're able if we're able to give ourselves clarity and organization and make our beauty routines um, achievable by eliminating a lot of the clutter and the unneeded steps and variety that's clustering our, you know, beauty wardrobes. Sorry, my dog's pulling me. Then what it does is it makes your routine faster and it'll enable you to add in those really important elements that you don't always feel that you have time to do. And I think that there's something to be said about giving yourself that little bit of love and attention that you need in order to fire you up for the day. There's some kind of energy that comes out of you when you've given yourself that that few minutes in the morning of self-love where you have a little extra. Give yourself a little bit extra because in doing that, it's not so much about vanity, it's about the fact that you put effort into yourself and you normally will have a better day if you do that. It's so weird. And it's weird because you attract so many people into your influence. And honestly, I have to say there's all kinds of excuses that you can come up with with why you don't want to do your brows or why you don't want to put on makeup. Um, people will say, well, I've never done it. My mom doesn't do it. I don't want to spend time on that. And it's just vanity or I just don't have time. I have five kids or whatever it is. But the truth is, is if you don't pay yourself first and get that first slice of the pie, carb free pie, hopefully, <laughs> um, to yourself, then you're depriving the world of your full power. So when you are operating at your full power, you are unstoppable and your mood will definitely be influenced by this. And all you really have to do is come see a beauty specialist like me and learn how to create clarity and add in one new thing. Maybe every six months add something in that really changes um, the way you feel. And honestly, by just giving yourself a little bit of attention, you will improve your quality of life. And of course, I always like to talk about the fact that there's that book called the art of seduction. I forget the name of the author, but he talks about all the great seductresses in history and how they all had something in common, you know, like Cleopatra and Marilyn Monroe. They weren't necessarily the most beautiful women in the world, but they were definitely able to kind of keep men at their toes, you know, just on their heels. <laughs> like, and, and what he was speaking about in the book is that it's because these women all had something in common. And what it was is they changed their look often, which keeps men on their toes keeps no not on their toes keeps them guessing and it's the whole beautiful um curious feminine quality that we have and you know familiarity really is what kills relationships we need to have surprise and variety and uncertainty and excitement in order to be fulfilled and it's easy to let your life pull you into a direction where um you're in routine and you do the same thing over and over because to step outside of that comfort zone, you feel stress. It feels exhausting. But when you do have that moment where you've given yourself a few minutes of a lesson in a, in a Nordstrom store randomly or in a Saks Fifth Avenue or you're with a girlfriend and, and some beauty person shows you something that you've never seen before, you feel so good and you don't even realize it, but it impacts everything. So ladies, I encourage you, spend some time on yourself. At least do your brows and put some foundation on and maybe a little bit of mascara and, you know, take a lipstick and like stain your lips and cheeks with it a tiny bit so you don't look washed out. Um, we are blessed to have the resources and the products and the science has gotten so good that things are just so much easier to use. So there's no excuses, there's only results. And if you really wanna ha be empowered and feel the power of your feminine influence and intrigue, then message me and set up an appointment or message someone in your area. And you can even do a little quick 
over the phone or video Skype type lesson. And it doesn't have to be a big deal. I have so many tricks on ways to make things that seem so hard into an easy process. So it's just about picking one thing and starting somewhere. And over the years, as you fade out, which we do, especially if you're blonde or light haired, you need more definition. Otherwise you just look washed out and it doesn't help your men or you to look washed out. I'm telling you, it just improves your life. Now, of course, there's always those people who go down the wrong path with beauty and it becomes unbalanced and they, and they put all their self-worth in how they look. That's different. And that's a whole nother class. Actually, I can do some life coaching on that one too. It's about how to balance your internal and external beauty um, and make it work for your lifestyle because there's never going to be enough time in life for working out. But it's really good for you and you've got to find a way. There's never enough time to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you have to or else you die sooner. So in order to have a more fulfilling and energized life, find a beauty person to help you that speaks your language and can teach you the tricks you need to learn. And be careful because there are some weirdos out there too. Anyway, have a beautiful afternoon, you guys.